Ahead of the online convening of the World Health Assembly, the annual WHO Forum in May, the U.S. is giving a strong showing of support for Taiwan on Twitter. The U.S. mission to the U.N. tweeted that barring Taiwan's participation in the World Health Organization was, quote, an affront to U.N. principles. While the U.S. State Department has also tweeted in favor of Taiwan's participation with the hashtag Tweet for Taiwan. This has infuriated China, needless to say, with Beijing's U.N. representative tweeting back that the U.S. was up to political tricks. It referred to a U.N. resolution that said the only legitimate representative of China at the World Health Body was the PRC. Both the U.S. State Department and the U.S. mission to the U.N. recently took to Twitter to show their support for Taiwan. The State Department's Bureau of International Organizational Affairs tweeted, Is the health of Taiwan's 23 million people less important now than it was before 2017? Or is the PRC punishing Taiwan voters for freely choosing their own leader? In just a few hours, it was retweeted everywhere. Then the US mission to the UN added fuel to the fire by tweeting that barring Taiwan from setting foot on UN grounds is an affront not just to the proud Taiwanese people, but to UN principles. These calls for Taiwan to take part in the WHO have provoked China's wrath. The Chinese mission to the UN tweeted back that this was another political trick. It referred to UN General Assembly Resolution 2758 as evidence that the Taiwan question had long been put to an end. It said that it strongly opposed, quote, using this question to interfere in China's internal affairs, trying to shift the blame for an inadequate response to COVID-19 in the US? No way. Resolution 2758 only decided that the PRC had the right to represent China and expel Chiang Kai-shek's representatives from the U.S. It did not make a decision on Taiwan's rights to representation. Taiwan is not a part of China. Taiwan's accession to the WHO is not only to the benefit of the entire world, but also makes a lot of sense. Taiwan's effective epidemic prevention has been in the international spotlight, and this year many nations have supported the idea of Taiwan participating in the World Health Body. Jumpalo Rizzo Alvado, the permanent representative of Honduras in Geneva, also tweeted in support of Taiwan. In the Twitter post, he posted pictures of teleconferences between diplomats and WHO Chief Tedros. His tweet said, We led a group of countries to ask the WHO's Director General to invite Taiwan to participate in the next World Health Assembly and in all COVID-19 related meetings, because it's the right thing to do, because we should leave no one behind. We asked the AIT to seriously consider the possibility about whether the U.S. should, on behalf of Taiwan, make a proposal to a WHO committee about Taiwan being an observer in the world body. In the last few years of President Tsai's administration, China has endlessly worked to sever diplomatic ties with other nations. But if the U.S. could lend a helping hand, the situation might be different. The Foundation of Medical Professionals Alliance paid a special visit to the AIT with hopes that the US will make a proposal on Taiwan's behalf if the WHA meets in person in July or August this year. It believes Taiwan's inclusion will be to the benefit of the global community.